What is happening, guys? How are you doing? Welcome to my channel. It's your boy, Connor85, and I'm back. Back. I'm able to speak louder because somebody's finished in the office next door. So, guys, if you're new, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification. Also, make sure you hit the, you know, the thumbs up as well so we can get ourselves up the algorithm as well. And last thing as well, guys, if you've got any questions or if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll leave my link down below as well. So, today, we've got Billie Eilish's Jordan 15, which comes in a beige color. So we'll speak about this shoe and we'll just talk about the details in all things specific to shoes. So bam, without any further ado, we'll take information from Soul Supplier. Big ups to them for reaching a milli. Hopefully we'll reach a milli as well one day. So bam, as you guys can see there, you're greeted by that very strange silhouette, which is just like an Avenger spaceship as well. Billie Eilish is very quirky, very different. She's, you know, outside the box. And, you know, whatever she wears has to obviously represent that as well as part of her character, which is larger than life. And this shoe embodies herself as well in terms of the things that she likes, films, music, and all that stuff. So you've got that Air Jordan 15, you know, which has been released before. And, you know, I think this take here is slightly rather different. And I think it's quite befitting for this current time in music and film. So... Where do I start? So we'll start with the colour itself. It's a beige, very plain, very wintry, autumn sort of colour, which we've seen, you know, uh, with a lot of, you know, uh, companies such as Yeezy Essentials. And she's managed to put that on as well, which will fit well with, you know, all those sort of brands when you wear the whole fit. So what do I think about the issue? I think it's quite different. I think it's very uh, futuristic. I think it's ahead of our time. Um, I think... Uh, it is just a little bit too ahead of our time right now. Now, normally when Kanye does shoes, he does them, but at the same time, he also kind of incorporates what's trendy or, you know, uh, what's in this space and time right now. Whereas this, I think, is way too far in the future. The reason why I say that is because it's got angles, you know, it's got like, you know, diagonal angles and you've got like, you know, stitching lines that go from the front which are also diagonal as well, which also crisscross as well. It's as if, you know, you can take a line graph and draw like, you know, different lines and everything, you know. Um, so I think it's just a little bit just too ahead of our time. Even when you look at the midsole as well, the midsole is like a sand dune, you know. It starts from the bottom, then it goes up sort of towards the middle, then it goes down towards the ankle side as well. And even when you look at the back of the shoe, like, you know, the ankle part as well, it's got like all those different slates you know, on that plastic piece as well. Though I do love the Air Jordan with wing look, uh, sorry, the Air Jordan Jumpman logo there, which is just a little bit faint there. I do like the stitching as well at the top as well. What I don't like mostly about the shoe is I think it's one of those shoes. Okay, you know what? Let's just go to the front. So that is the front there. So the front is sort of like, um, you know, this spaceship uh, window. You know, at the top there, you've got the captain inside. You know, do you get what I mean though? Like what picture I'm trying to paint. So you've got those like, you know, um, what you call them? I'm, 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 I'm losing my train of thought right now. So you've got those laces at the front there, which you don't tie. These are tireless laces, which okay, are quite trendy. But then you've also got that weird like, you know, front piece. It's meant to be a tongue, but it's a tongue which, you know, actually comes out. It doesn't actually, you know, get behind the shoe. I do wonder if maybe the tongue was not on the outside, but on the inside is per normal. Would I think better of the shoe? I think probably, I think because the tongue is just that design, it kind of makes me think, hey, hang on a second, what we're doing there. Um, on the toe cap, you've got that like, um, it's as if like it's been dissected at the same time and it's just been left open there. So you've got that like weird, um, let's just try and get a closer image there. So you've got that like, you know, a weird sort of like tunnel. So I just don't know, uh, you know, what I think about this. You know, it's just, yeah, it's just one of those. So that's your top down view there. That looks all right. That's the back view there. So I do love the back view there. So you've got the date, the date over there, 23rd of June 15. I don't know what that date means, but it must mean something to be like Irish. So, you know, yeah, that's uh, fair, fair enough. And you can see like uh, it's just uh, that like very futuristic, you know, look to it. These come, I think, in a sort of a mead profile. It's not a low, it's a mead. That's the plastic slate I was talking about before. 
So yeah, a very simple shoe, straightforward, but at the same time, you know, it's quite a very strange shoe in its own right as well. So guys, that's the end of the video. Hopefully this video has been quite helpful. So hang on, before I finish the video, we'll talk about styling wise. So styling wise, I'll probably say stick to those like, you know, earth tone colors, which will complement this color as well. I'm thinking more like, you know, those like loose fitting, like tracks of bottoms. Um, and then also resale wise, I think these will not resell quite well, unless you sell to a Billy Eilish fans. There's a lot of fans out there. So if you're able to like get the key sizes, the size four, five, six is for a lot of females, then you'll be able to sell them on as well. How much you can make is, you know, it's just entirely, you know, um, up to the market itself. The market would decide based on the demand and the amount of products that are in the market as well. So it will it'll play itself out. So I can't really, you know, kind of comment on that as such as it's rather too early. And yeah, I guess I'll finish the video now, guys. Thanks for watching. God bless. I'm out. A piss.